Hey there, this is Pete Buckwald, and I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to sync Omnisphere, or Trillion for that matter, uh, to grooves that were created in Stylus Remix. I'm working on a song, and it forced me to have to learn how to do this. I've been meaning to learn how to do it for some time. Um, so let me hit the spacebar, and you can hear the drum pattern that I had going. So not straight out. It's not straight eighth notes. It's got a swing or shuffle feel to it. Um, so I looked around Omnisphere and tried to find, um, you know, synth patterns that that would work well. And I couldn't make anything line up just, you know, naturally. Any of the pulsating patterns that are in here. Um, the first way I tried to do this was using Logic's uh, like groove mapping. So I would select this region and try to detect from region and make that all work out but that wasn't working for me I'm sure there's a way to do it that way but even uh, this this is worth knowing how to do this in Omnisphere if you have Omnisphere uh, and stylus uh, this is a, a cool thing to add to your add to your bag of tricks so I've got my sound here and let's close this interface and we'll it'll reveal the how to edit the sounds uh, as you know, probably each Omnisphere sound is made up of two uh, individual sounds. So uh, the A sound sounds like this. Sounds like it has a delay or something. So let's go to Effects. And sure enough, there's an echo. So let's just get rid of that so it, it doesn't confuse us for our... There we go. Okay, so let's go back to the, our edit mode. And here's our B sound that we have. Okay. All right. So here's what how we do it. Um, right, right now, it's a very sustaining sound. If I just hold the keys down, it sounds like that. All right. Here's what we'll do. There's about three steps to make this uh, pulsate along with the drum beat. So we're going to go to this modulation modulation section here. We'll drop down to mod envelope number one. And this one below it will say amplitude. The sliders, the top one, will go all the way to the right. And the bottom one, all the way to the left. All right. So that's the first two steps. Here's the third step. We'll go to this envelope area. Anywhere in the interface, there's a little plus sign. If you click on it, it's going to open up a lot more controls that have to do with that functionality. So let's click on Envelope. There's what the default one in this patch looks like. Let's go to Open Up Stylus Remix. Are you with me? That was a weird pop. Never heard that before. So if we just take our MIDI file from this patch, grab it, and drop it, watch what happens. Watch, wait for it. Boom. And there's our, our pattern as an envelope. All right, let's go back to our main editing. So, oh, i got to hit the minus. Um, so I'll, I'll hit the, a couple of keys here, and you can hear, as I hold them down, you'll hear it pulse, pulsate all on its own. Uh, I lost something. Oh, I, I know why. That's my fault. Operator error. Now it'll work. All right, so of the two sounds here, one of them it's working for, one of them's not. That's one interesting or unfortunate or whatever. It, this is one reality of, of doing this, that sometimes for some patches I'm finding it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I know from past experience that in this case it's the A patch that's that will keep sustaining. So let's have that volume all the way down. So, I mean, you can use it to your advantage, you know, to slide in a little bit of the sustaining sound if it works well for the song. So we got that going on. So let's hear what, let's record a little bit of the song and we can hear how now it matches up well with that. Um, let me drag this over a little bit so I get a little bit of, I can see where I'm supposed to start playing. All right, here we go. No click. Awesome. Take a guess. All right. 
I will quantize the whole note. <laughs> My click track is routed somewhere weird, I guess. So let's uh, go to whole note. That should do it. Now you'll hear, now that it's quantized, how they line up really well. All right, well, I hope this is a helpful tutorial and that it gives you some more um, resources as you, as you try to integrate creativity into your productions. Take care, and um, I look forward to hearing your comments.